which regular shapes can be drawn on triangular and hexagonal grids? We have a lot of 60 and 120 degree angles floating around, so as you might have guessed, we can draw an equilateral triangle and a regular hexagon on both of these grids. But are there any other regular polygons? Well, let's start off small. Why don't we assume that we can draw a square on one of these grids? On the square grid, 90 degree rotations left the grid invariant. And there's a very similar analogue for triangular and hexagonal grids. Here, 120 degree rotations leave both of these grids invariant. Unfortunately, a single 120 degree rotation doesn't generate a smaller square. But what if we chain two of these together? In the second 120 degree rotation, we can rotate about a different point. And now look, one of these vertices has been mapped inside of our starting square. We can repeat this process on all four of the vertices of our starting square, and by symmetry we've generated a strictly smaller square, which must also be contained on our triangular or hexagonal grid. And just as before, this process can be repeated indefinitely. But there are only finitely many grid points in a finite space, and we have our contradiction. What's great about this argument is that it doesn't just work for the square, it also works for the regular pentagon. And when dealing with regular shapes with seven or more sides, well, the task becomes even easier. Their interior angles are all greater than 120 degrees, so we can just apply standard single 120 degree rotations to generate a strictly smaller regular angle. Finally, just as a sanity check, we should see where these arguments fail for equilateral triangles and regular hexagons.